Hey kids, I wanted to show you a video. Um, uh, this is a uh, Mississippi State against um, Oregon State. Let me play it, play it through here. All right, so a lot of cool stuff going on here. So let me rewind this and, and kind of show you what's going on. All right, so first of all, Mississippi State uh, against Oregon State, bottom of the first inning, uh, nobody out, runners on the corners, runners on first and third. And the ball is hit right back at the pitcher right there. So the first thing the pitcher does is he looks at the runners and he sees that the runner at third is basically running straight to home. So what does he do? He throws a head straight to the catcher. Uh, it's, it's obviously what we teach you guys. It's fundamental baseball, throw a head, run a back. What's well, the next thing he does is he goes down and he takes and replaces where he threw, okay? Also notice that the catcher, the first thing that the catcher does is he gets the ball out of his glove and starts charging down with the ball in the air, starts charging that runner back. So throw ahead, run him back. So everything is out, everything's perfect here on the Mississippi side. Look at the third baseman uh, where he's set up. We'll talk about that in a second. He's set up right on the bay bag, but he'll come off that bag in a second. Another cool thing I want you to see, a lot of, a lot of things going on here, is notice that the runner here um, on the third base side sees that the runner that was on first is rounding second base, okay? And what he's doing is he's waving at him, telling him, get to third, get to third. You could see that right there, okay? So let me zoom in on him a little bit. So as he knows he's in a rundown, he looks over at the guy at second base right there. He looks over at him and he says, get to third, get to third, get to third with his hand. He's saying, go, go, get to third, okay? Then... Let's go back to the actual rundown. So catcher and third baseman. Third baseman comes off the bag and calls for the ball. See that? Uh, that's why I tell you guys, stay off the bag. He calls off the, comes off the bag, calls for the ball, gets the ball, and now just starts charging, and it's an easy out. Now what should have happened is the guy that was rounding second he should be sliding right now into third base, and he should be safe at third. But for some reason, he was hesitant, and he stayed in between uh, third and second base. Okay, so now Mississippi State, the next, next great thing is, as soon as he tags him, what does he do? Let's zoom in here. As soon as he tags him, he goes into his glove, Right there, he goes into his glove, gets the ball out, and starts charging again. So same things, fundamental right there. Get the ball out of your glove and start charging. So he's running hard. He sees that this kid is hung up. If we rewind it back a little bit again, you'll see right over here, second baseman is near the bag. But as soon as he sees that there is a possible rundown situation, he comes off the bag off the bag, calls for the ball, comes off the bag even more. Look at that, he hops, he hops off to the bag, he moves his feet to the ball and tags him. And look at that, because he's so far off the bag, the guy here going back to second base, he's trying to slide around him. He doesn't even get to the bag. Look at this, he doesn't even get to the bag. He stops short of the bag. He can't even, he flops right on his face. They can't even get to the bag. And that's all because of the fact that, look at the second baseman. Look at how far he is off the bag. He's not here, okay? He's not here. He's way out here. And so the runner doesn't have the ability to get to the bag. There's two things are going to happen. One, either the runner is going to slide just like this, and he's, he's not going to get to the bag, or 
the runner's going to be standing upright and you can tag him easily. Okay, or he's going to get into this this weird rundown where he's going to try to get out of the baseline, which again, you sh he should be out if he runs that far out of the baseline. That's why it's critical that you get away from the bag. You have more options if you do that. Let's also take a look at a couple key things. Look at the center fielder coming in to back up. If we uh, zoom out here and rewind, a couple things I showed you in the beginning. Uh, as soon as the pitcher throws, what does he do? He comes, replaces the catcher. Okay. Other key thing, when the catcher throws, okay, what does he do? He goes and he replaces the third baseman. Watch. He replaces the third baseman just like that. Short stops obviously covering here. I guarantee you that the left fielder's coming in here, and I bet you the right fielder is going to be over here in a few minutes. So all this stuff happens um, very quickly, but if you use the basic fundamentals, basic fundamentals, getting the ball out, running the guy back, getting away from the base, yelling for the ball, putting a nice tag on a, on a guy, this is a double play rundown. So kind of a cool play. All right, kids, see you later.